Welcome to Jamie and Julia. I'm Jamie, and neither of these are Julia. Oh! <laughs> bon appétit. So if you're joining me for the very first time, just let me bring you up to speed really quickly. I'm, well, I'm trying to improve my cooking skills. So I have this book, Mastering the Art of French Cooking from Julia Child. And I just go through the book and I pick recipes and I make them all for the very first time. And I never know what I'm getting into. So today I'm gonna be making a bouillabaisse, which is this like very intense seafood soup. You can make as dramatic a production as you want out of the bouillabaisse, but remember, it originated as a simple Mediterranean fisherman's soup. Ideally, you should pick six or more varieties of fresh fish. I'll be honest, I've been dreading this one. <laughs> I'm not like an experienced fishmonger guy. In fact, I feel the same towards that as I do uh, the butchers when I had to buy the beef for the beef bourguignon. I'm just completely out of my element. A lot of fish out in the ocean and it wouldn't take me long to list off the ones that I know. Use fish heads, bones, and trimmings. When I am working with fish, um, I'm never like looking at an actual fish, you know? All the work's already been done for me, you know? There's no eyes. I have quite the haul. I went to two different fishmongers. I went to a first place. Hi there, how are you? I'm all right. Good. Uh, a couple things here I want to get. A halibut fillet? Uh, fillet. And a cod fillet? Thick piece or like a piece like that? Yeah, a thick piece. Yeah, yeah. Six scallops? Six scallops, yeah. Yes, please. Do you have like a, like a fish head of, that I could uh, also, like a cod head or a... Or no, that. That, no, 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 no. So I had to go to another fishmonger and, uh, you know, I asked the same question. Do you have any like leftover heads? And these guys brought out this huge bucket and they're like, well, whose head do you need? This is a cod and this is a head. Oh, great, yeah. That's awesome, yeah. You the bones as well? Yeah, yeah. And I needed two fish frames, like the full bodies. This is the hake and a cod, or a... No, it's like this. Uh, would you like anything else with mm. Like 10 mussels? And how much are the hake fillets? This is so far beyond anything I've ever done before. I mean, there's fish heads on my counter. Okay, so firstly... Firstly what? So let's just get all the fishies out of the way. We'll get to this soon. Soup de poisson. Okay, so firstly I need like the biggest pot I can find. Uh, this is the biggest one I have, which is... Might be a problem down the road because the fish heads look bigger than this, but... Uh, so I think we start off with something relatively easy, right? Cook the onions and leeks in olive oil. Cut all these vertical lines, some horizontals, and chop, 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 chop. Next up, the leek. Uh, no idea how to chop up a leek. Slice off this, like that, in half, and then you know what to do. With a leek, I'm using like the white part of the leek. Uh, I don't know what you do with this. Get that going on medium heat. I'm adding around half a cup of olive oil, quarter pound of chopped onions, three ounces of chopped leeks. I apologize for everyone that follows the metric system like I do. The book doesn't and I got fish on the mind so I can't really convert it today. I'm gonna cook this until it's tender but not brown. Five minutes. Roughly chop three tomatoes. So first cut out the stem and these don't need to be chopped up in any sort of way, just kind of rough and tough because we're gonna be straining all this later so it doesn't really matter, right? Uh, tomatoes go in. Stir them in. While I'm doing all this, I'm gonna put all my fishy stuff back in the fridge because I don't know how long this is gonna take. I do the flipperoo. Okay, I got half a bulb of garlic. I don't have to peel it, I don't have to break it down, I just chop it up. God, I really need a sharper knife. And the garlic goes in. I'm gonna cook the tomatoes and the garlic for some time. Um, for another five minutes. Three and a half pints of water. Six sprigs of parsley, one bay leaf, half a teaspoon of dried thyme, one eighth teaspoon of fennel seeds. In you go. So I made this special purchase of uh, saffron. It's like, uh, it's from Spain. 
and I take two big pinches of this and in you go. Saffron is kind of expensive. Kind of want to get your money's worth. But you don't want to add too much or it starts to taste like medicine. Um, that's what Julia says. About a tablespoon of salt, eighth teaspoon of pepper. A little more salt. That should be good for now. So I've delayed this as long as possible. I gotta start working with the fish. Fish heads have all the guts in them. I need to gut this. The, when I watch like the Julia Child video of her making this recipe, the heads that she's using are pretty hollowed out, but these have all the stuff in them. And I don't know what to do with it, and it's kind of like not my bag. They got the gills in there that I have to take out and fuck. Enormous cod head. Those are the gills, and they fit right in under here. This is nice having a giant thing so you can see how they are. See, they fit right in there, and what they are are very little thin. What the f Honestly, the last thing I want to do right now is go digging around in some fish heads, but uh, we start with the hake fish, which is the scarier looking one. Remove the gills by cutting them where they are attached at either end of the arch that they form. Oh, for f sakes. How do you take gills out of a fish? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh! If I don't take these out, the fish broth is gonna taste bitter and these act like a sieve. So somehow I gotta get these gills out. And this is like the last, oh! Man, these things are in there. There's gonna be an easier way to do this. Okay, so if they're attached to that bone there, sakes, there's a pouch of something in there. I don't wanna know what that is. If I could just dislodge it from that bone there, I read maybe scissors might do the trick. <sighs> scissors work a lot better. There, the gills, all the guts, all the gills are removed from the first fish head. In you go. Whoa! It slipped out of my hand. I may have been a bit ambitious with the two fish heads. You can cut off these fins, because they're not fitting. Okay, next in line, the guts and the gills. Never gets any easier though, does it? Almost there. Ugh. I'm gonna also cut off these fins. Let's go in for a swim. Fish frames, break it up into little pieces. Cut off the fins. In you go, this pot is full. Cook uncovered at a moderate boil for 30 to 40 minutes. See this like skimming the fat on the very top along with this like mysterious foam that keeps showing up. I don't know what it is, but it's gotta go. Okay, for this next part, you're gonna need a beautiful French baguette. We're making croutes. Okay, it says that cut these into three quarter of an inch slices. It appears like I know what I'm doing right now. It's because I did this for the French onion soup. Okay, that's a lot. So with your French baguette like slices, you're gonna take one and firstly, you're gonna dunk it into the stock. Mm. Get these onto some sort of baking tray. I'm gonna use my pizza pan today. 325 degrees Fahrenheit oven. I'm gonna bake these for like half an hour and halfway through. I'm going to baste them in olive oil. Probably been around an hour since that stock started simmering, so I think it's time to strain it. I need a bowl. Thank you. And a strainer. Easy does it. Easy does it. Strain it. It's heavy. Okay, let's take this stuff and put it into this bowl. And then this stock can go over here, just because I need room and the rest of this liquid here. Easy does it. Did anything fall in? Let's take a look into the graveyard and see what remains. Where's the fish heads? They are all gone. The f so I got everything I needed out of this. This is garbage. Okay, this pot can go away. And uh, I think I would, I would love to show you something. It's too good not to share. Bear with me, this has nothing to do with cooking.
Just had a sudden impulse to share that with you. It's just too good for you not to see it. Okay, back to work. Okay, there's a lot of scum on this. Skim the scum. So I just cleaned out my big old pot. Back on the burner, add my stock. All my other little fishies. Start with the mussels first. We gotta get these organized before we move on to all the other fish. So these things are alive. And you can tell because this thing is wide open and if I do this, it's probably gonna close. Maybe not. Hello. There he, he's closing. See? Closed for business. There's not much extra work I have to do because I went to a fishmonger, he did it all for me. I, usually you gotta de-beard these. There's like a little, almost looks like a hair that's sticking out of the shell and you yank it out. And then there's barnacles or whatever the hell on the shell and you just kind of scrape it all off. Uh, in this case, they're all clean and there's no beard. Let's put them in some cold water. And those can hang out over there. So when it comes to seafood, that's really the only thing I know because I've already made an episode on mussels, but uh, bring the soup to a boil. Check the seasoning of your soup. Julia says it should be nearly perfect, but if it's not, add a little seasoning. Could use a little salt, could use a little peps. A little bit more saffron, just a little boom. Lovely. The hake, the halibut, the cod, they're all gelatinous fish, so uh, they need to be added into the soup at the same time. Um, because they're gonna turn very soft and, uh, what, like jelly or something? I don't know what she's trying to say, a gelatinous fish. So it turns into like a j jelly, gelatinous blobby fit. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's up to me what kind of slices I want. Is that skin okay? Leave the skin on. I'm gonna cut my fish however I want to cut them. So in strips like that, that looks good. Rapidly boil some salt water for something that's not so fishy. Peel the potatoes. Cut these potatoes up into like cubes. Potatoes into the boiling water. 15, 20 minutes to boil these potatoes. Okay, now firstly I'm gonna add the halibut, the hake fish, cod. Bring rapidly back to a boil and cook for five minutes. Shall we move on to the scallops? So the scallops have this thing here, but uh, when you eat a scallop, you eat it without that. So I just take it off. After a few minutes, I'm gonna add my scallops. And you gotta kill some mussels. Remember, if they don't open, they're not good. Keep it boiling for five minutes. Immediately lift the fish and arrange them on a dish. This will do. Parsley, little soup on top just to moisten everything as per jewels. This mussel didn't open, so it's bad. So the croots, those can go into the soup dish and pour the soup on top. Okay. Take some selection of the fish, mussels, and scallop. Ladle in some of the soup with the croots and then some potatoes. Wow. Shall we? It was divine. It was a knockout, superlatives, superlatives. As the first seafood dish I've made from Julia Child and one of the most challenging recipes I've ever made, just like wrapping my head around what fish I was gonna buy and going to the fishmonger and you know, working with those fish heads, the blood, the gills, you saw those fish heads. I didn't imagine them, they existed and they're gone, thank God. As, as pretty straightforward as this recipe is, it was like a journey for me, and it like opened the doors to uh, pff, countless other seafood dishes I can start making now that I've got this one out of the way. If you like seafood, you should try it. It's a little more pricier, but I mean, it's gonna push you to new territory, things that you didn't think that you could do just a few hours ago. <laughs> but besides that, this was Jamie and Julia. Bon appetit. See ya.